Greetings everyone. Uh, I am delighted to hear that Dr. Sridhar Seshadri has organized another uh, web conference um, and, and I am ex extremely delighted to uh, be part of that and um, my best wishes uh, in uh, a grand success of this event as well. Uh, and this is a very um, innovative and uh, uh, very, very effective way of uh, um, conducting conferences and very futuristic. Uh, and uh, I'm sure this will be the norm uh, in the near future, uh, whereas uh, SBI Technologies has been uh, pioneering in, in, this, uh, in this aspect. Uh, so, I am going to talk briefly about uh, education, which is one of the topics uh, of this conference. So, the digital transformation in education and what is um, um, going to be more effective for the next generation in terms of education. So, I will uh, talk based on a few of my recent uh, studies with many other co-authors. Uh, the first one uh, um, is about the, in the context of ongoing uh, pandemic, uh, we did a field survey or primary survey uh, with a questionnaire for many uh, students uh, all over the country who are uh, doing their undergraduate uh, education in a variety of subjects. And uh, it, this was about their willingness to do online examination and e-learning and so on. Uh, particularly when it comes to online examination, the perception of the students is that uh, they, they are not ready in the sense that uh, there is a lot of fear and psychological factors involved in this. Uh, they are not sure, they have not, not done it before, so they are extremely worried about uh, how effective will it be and so on. Um, and um, the students, and this is not a common, this is not a like a same response from all the students, but some of them uh, have been positive and some of them have been negative. Uh, students who are positive are the ones who have very good access to internet um, and and um, technologies, uh, you know, computers and so on. And the students who generally are apprehensive are the ones who don't have access. People in the students in the rural areas and so on. Uh, and also their socio-economic background uh, is is quite important. So uh, this study gave us a sense of how. Uh, the digital transformation in education can face a lot of short term hurdles in, um, in implementation. Uh, however, when we take into account the problems faced by the students, particularly from the poor backgrounds, from poor socioeconomic conditions and uh, rural areas where uh, access to modern technologies are relatively difficult, uh, although things are improving over time. Um, I think they, they, their, uh, once their concerns are uh, taken into account and they are given access to technologies, when the, when the access to te technologies becomes more prominent uh, to all the parts of um, the country, uh, then uh, there could be a um, very positive um, uh, you know, effect of uh, digital transformation in education. So, uh, this 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 uh, inference that I just mentioned can be uh, made from the response of students who have good access to internet and technologies, who have, who are from good socioeconomic backgrounds. So that that is mainly the reason why I'm able to say this. Uh, secondly, uh, we did another study on the instructor's perspective. Uh, what do the people who are teaching uh, uh, and, and, and examina examination investigators, what do they think about it? And from that study, we, we particularly focused on Mumbai and uh, the Maharashtra state. And there our finding was that they are also equally uh, apprehensive um, 
particularly because they have not done it before. So it's, it's about a first time uh, situation. And there are three hurdles they see. The first is uh, the health difficulty that you are facing now. Uh, so people uh, are worried about the, um, the, the, the students who may get sick and the, also the faculty who may get affected by this in terms of health. Uh, secondly, um, it's about the technology, technological aspects, how, how is it going to happen and what, are, what is the infrastructure needed and so on. And, um, and thirdly, it's a psychological factor, the fear factor and psychological factor, like since, this, this is, since we have not done it before, how is it going to work this time and so on. So again, as you can imagine, these are also relatively short term concerns and in the longer term, mid, uh, uh, medium term, uh, these can be alleviated by the authorities and, and the governments and uh, uh, universities and so on. So from these two studies, we have, we can make an inference that uh, in the short term, there are going to be many hurdles, but in the long term, there could be gains um, of, of digital transformation in education. Uh, then we did a third uh, study, uh, actually it was done uh, long before the COVID, it was done in uh, last year. Um, in, in this study, we looked at the um, new learning methods and how do they have uh, an impact on the students and their performance and so on. How do, how do their students, students perceive about them uh, even before the crisis? Uh, so in, in this study, we found that um, students today, the next gen, next gen students are not so much interested in uh, just memorizing some uh, concepts and writing uh, based on that, but they want practical relevance, facts and figures, uh, those kind of um, more uh, impactful uh, ways of learning. So, uh, so I think that that is an important uh, aspect to consider when it comes to uh, transformations in learning for the next next generation. Uh, so that was uh, one one major uh, you know uh, conclusion. Uh, so finally, we did one more study again in the last year, and that was actually for the rural uh, parts of India, and we. Uh, conducted a primary survey in a in a in a village in Uttar Pradesh, and in, in this uh, study uh, we looked at the state of schools. How are the schools now, and how do they uh, impart education? How are the students? Uh, particularly, this is mainly about uh, primary and middle and high school, the, the, the school-going children. While the other three studies were mainly about the college and higher education. So, at a school level, at a elementary, middle, high school level. The students are, um, and, and particularly in the rural areas, uh, students are really you know poor, and, and the facilities are also poor. There are not many teachers, and the schools are used for multiple purposes. They they, they may be used for you know marriages and many other other events as well. Uh, so given all this, it's 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 highly complicated and difficult to you know come up with any digital transformation strategy there. Uh, but we did uh, discuss about uh, some digital technologies like uh, uh, you know uh, um, uh, using YouTube and, and other online uh, you know websites for training and um, having some equipment, recording equipment, you know, uh, uh, and also playing playing equipment uh, like CD players and so on in the school to make sure that the kids get international exposure and so on. Um, and, and again, the, the, the challenges, challenges for these is, one challenge is the infrastructure investment, uh, second is uh, preserving these things because we, these schools are de generally very open and there are uh, issues like thefts and as we mentioned, as I mentioned before, multiple events happening in these places. So, so that could, so these equipments and so on are exposed to many other things. Uh, so, so it's very difficult to safeguard the investments made also. So, however, we did find that the students are very open and, and also the teachers are open to these uh, new technologies and there is already a penetration of technologies there and, and this will be a good learning tool for them. Um, and, and I think if you address these issues of uh, safety, security of equipment and um, uh, safeguarding from thefts and so on, uh, again, uh, digital transformation can be a major boon in rural education as well. Uh, so, so these are the different uh, dimensions of uh, how to think about you know, digital transformation in the in, in education sector, both 
rural and urban uh, both uh, you know school education and higher college university education and um, so as, as i think a common thread of all these studies that i mentioned is that there is an issue of um, short term uh, adjustment um, which is very prominent uh, both for the teachers for the students instructors examiners for all of them and there is also um, uh, clear recognition by all the stakeholders that in the long term this can be a very positive thing and particularly for you know, getting international exposure and um, uh, learning from uh, others uh, not only the not keeping the learning to confine with uh, uh, just the teacher and stu the local students but also making it uh, global and national and so on so this is how um, i see um, the the technological changes in education going forward so i'm sure there are many other uh, papers and speakers who are going to talk uh, uh, more in more detail and uh, more specific uh, technical uh, um, um, uh, aspects on on this topic and i conclude by saying that all these are uh, really important coming up with technological solution is extremely important for facing this issue so thank you so much again and i wish the program all success thank you